pew 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 Oh, I go. gotta respect there the views. We got, we got him that time. We get, he, we'll give him this one. He gave me a minute. He, he let yeah. me, have, he let me have it for a that minute. That wasn't, that wasn't as fast as it had been. No, it just, it, I had George on the mind, man. Although last week, well, there was actually just another, another song I thought I, I was positive you were gonna start with. But we'll get to that later. I was thinking, we'll get to I, that. like I had one in my head like two minutes ago, and then I forgot what it was and panicked mm, and just went with George. That Drake. might be, yeah. Well, Robert, last week I don't know if you listened to the podcast, but uh, we kind of ran out of breath just pewing because. You were not here to yeah, break it up. We so need you, buddy. I think it was like a five minute long pee. We missed you. Good to have you back. Did you enjoy your birthday? I guess we'll find out in where you've been, huh? Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. So stay tuned, guys. It's a little teaser. It's like, why are we tuning out of a podcast? Is you, what? what? <laughs> I like I like trying to do like radio because like a lot of radio breaks are like you got to tease them to sit through commercials and stuff. And it's like, you can just hit the fast forward button if we're reading first. Don't do that, though. Don't do that. Definitely don't do Minute that. Minute and a half in, and they're like, nah, this one's not for me. <laughs> not, not mine. Tune out. Not mine. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but like, do you think anybody like fast forwards like all the way to the end or something? Like, like ah, I'm going to start at like minute 30. <laughs> Usually the first 15 minutes is just shit. So like, I'm just going to cut my losses and go to where the good part is. They just if you, don't, if you don't like the first 15 minutes of this, I don't know why you're listening to anything else. Like, I, I don't think it's any different. Yeah. It's kind of just us being us, you know? Speaking of uh, us being us, have you seen all the awareness months that are going on right now? Like, I know Autism Awareness Month is a big thing. They had Autism Awareness Day, I believe, was Tuesday this week. You get a day and a month? Well, Whoa. I mean, it would make sense to have your day in the month. And like, I, I've, I've heard of Autism Awareness Month for sure. That is definitely yeah. something, you know, with when you have the puzzle pieces and all of that. But like, that's definitely something like I, that I've, I've heard over the years, you know. But then, like, also, did you know that it is Sexual Assault Awareness Month, Pat? So they're doubling up the month? That's well, I mean, I, I mean, that's also something we definitely, you know, sexual assault is nothing to play with, nothing to, you know, take lightly. So, you know, I understand it having a month. And you, and you can't get mad at either one. I it's understand. Like, oh, so you're saying sexual assault's better right. than autism? Right. You can't. Or more important? Or is, you or is can't. autism more important than sexual assault? You can't. But just, it's weird that they're on the same month. And I understand we only have 12 months in the year. My, my thing is, like, do we have to have more months now so we can have more awareness months? I think we just need to have because less causes. I think last month was women's. History Month, I want to say, according to some commercials. Then you had February was Black History Month. Of course. I don't know what that's January the, that's was. That's the one that everyone knows. That's really the, that is. the one that Breast matters. Breast Cancer that's Awareness good. Month is October because the NFL has taught me that. I didn't know that was a thing. I thought just the NFL supported them in October. I think it's Breast Cancer, Cancer Awareness Month. I just thought that was something that the NFL did because they're nice. This was one of the new awareness months that I saw on Facebook today. That I just, you know, there's sometimes you're like, oh, I didn't know we needed awareness for that. It's kind of, you know, like like a rabies run where it's like, I think we already have a cure for rabies. We don't really need to have a run for it, Michael. No, we do, you know, for the cure. But uh, I saw it's C-Section Awareness Month. Get the fuck out of here. C-Section Awareness Month nope. to all you mothers. And I know we have some mothers listening nope. to the Wait, podcast. So that's, that's this month? Yeah. It's How a, are you going to put that on the same month as autism that's what I, and sexual I, that's assault? What I'm going to say. You it's chose like, poorly. I mean, out of all the months, like sexual assault, something to, to, to take seriously, you know? You, then, you, then you have, you know, Autism Awareness Month, also something to take seriously. C-section Awareness Month, I'm not knocking anybody with C-sections, but like, are people like that have C-sections, do they get like shamed? Is that a thing? Like, are they like, oh, you got a C-section? Maybe, maybe. Get out of here. The only thing I can think is maybe some women don't want to do it because they want to go through natural childbirth and maybe they shame themselves. I don't know. I'm purely making shit up in my own head right now, but that seems like a train of thought that might go into people's heads. Well, it was somebody that, like, it was, it was a girl that, like, I Who's have not. Somebody? There's nobody that's shamed that, but that's, people for but like, that, that's what I'm. I mean, I, don't, I guess like it's, it's not a, over shaming or anything. A lot of times it's like a medical thing. Like, no, you need to have the C-section. Or but like, the it's, kid's going to yeah, break you. Yeah, but that's my whole thing. It's like, are they making us aware that C-sections are a thing? Because I understand it's like, hey, let's talk about sexual Everyone's assault and are. let's bring this to the forefront. And like, you know, like let's make this a, a, something that we fight against right now. You know, and it's like, I understand that. Autism. Let's, this is something we need to talk about and we need to educate others on. I get that. But like, C-sections? I've got one that we should do. So I actually know a little bit about this. Good. Oh, okay. Good. So like it's a lot of the like the side effects and stuff that can happen with C sections. Mm. Like uh women can develop blood clots blood clots. Scarring. Scarring. Well that's that's, that's another one. I guess so. That's but true. Like, blood clots. Like you know uh, Spot the lie. Serena Williams. Yep. Uh huh. She almost died. 
She had a C-section. From a C-section? She had, she had blood clots, like, in her lungs and, like... Hold on. Did, did she almost die or did she just get them, but she's super rich, so she was never actually in danger? Well, I mean, that's that's the thing, right? Like, she's super rich. What yeah. about normal people? That's what I'm saying. Like, she yeah. didn't almost die. Think about them. Put your, put yourself in those shoes. You make, a, you make a good point there, And though, it's also Robert. a lot about, like, uh, how doctors maybe want to give a uh, C-section just because it gives them more money. It costs more to do a C-section oh. than, than vaginal birth. And mm. also, so, like, it doesn't cut into their holiday time. Because if you look at the at the, at the the facts, there's not, a, there's not a lot of births on holidays, usually before or after. So, you, oh. oh. But can't doc- they just induce birth, too, now? Well, that's what a C-section is, right? It's basically yeah. just like, I'm just going to cut the no, baby like, out of you. I thought they could just, like, induce birth, though. Well, they induce labor. But then the they kind of just do C-section. Oh, yeah, and then, you know, you Labor's need labor work. for fucking 48 hours. Yeah. Dude, Robert, you just solved the puzzle. Blew our mind. So, all right, I guess C-section awareness month should be a thing. But and you look at you for raising awareness right now and just telling everybody. I've, I, I've got one that I want to add to the awareness month list, though. No, we already have enough awareness. No, month. but this that, is, no, we got to hop one. on next month. Next no. month. No, 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 not this month. Not okay, this month. Okay. It's, it's going to be for August. Okay. It's Random Puberty Boner Awareness Month. Random Puberty because Boner Because people need to be aware month. that kids going through puberty as they're going back to school and they're around a uh-huh. bunch of other girls. They can't control it. It's not their fault. Just Emma be, just turned around and said, we're aware. Yeah. Just, just, <laughs> but, but, but I'm raising where Be sensitive. Yeah. Don't yeah. Like, don't like point and laugh at the kid who's slightly hunched over walking down the hallway. He can't help it. Right. Him. You know, he's just, he's just got a puberty boner. He's just, that he's, happens. He's just living his life with no control over himself. I feel like today's podcast is an extremely educational podcast. Yeah. Just like we're not even eight minutes in yet, and you've already learned about like awareness for C sections, guys. <laughs> There's things that come and with C sections that people take for granted, and you know we all just may laugh it off like we just did. But now there's some serious issues no. that, that are being raised, and so uh, we got to find some more months. I think some awareness months, but I just feel like they stack up a lot of times, and it's like. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, so, and I'm not knocking is, anybody. Is there, is there anything else on Black History Month, or does nobody have the balls to even try that? Because um, I feel like if you try and make your month February, no, nah, that's not going to work out well like for Google you. Google Awareness Months. Because, like, if you try and take Black History Month away, that's not only is that fucked up, you're j- you're going to get just romp stomped by fucking Jesse Sharpton. Yeah. Or, I mean, Al Sharpton and Jesse, Jesse Jackson. I combine Jesse them there. Jesse Smollett. <laughs> right. Which, by the way, I, my brother texted me this. I think everybody should know this now. Jesse Smollett was one of the uh, two black kids from the Mighty Ducks. He's the he's the brother that doesn't show oh, back up in the okay. second one. Dude, so check he this wasn't. Out. J- Jesse is the one that shows back up in the second one. Jesse's brother was Jesse Smollett from the Mighty Ducks. Blow your mind. Yeah, look it up. It's mind true. blown. Yeah, Pat showed me that before we started, and I my mouth dropped. Ruined the movie. My for me. my jaw. <laughs> Dropped and was just like, what? What, what, what? what? I did that. That was exactly what I did. <laughs> Make a gift of that, Robert, please. All right. So January is dry January in the United Kingdom. Okay. So they just um, drink extra dry gin? Would be I don't know. I would assume that that's like where we don't drink the first no, month of the they're, year. No, they're English. They're, drink, they're just drinking dry gin. Right. But then I, I thought sober October or, or is Or dry that. Vermouth. Then um, in the United States, we have National Mentoring Month. On, that's also in January. Then January is also Slavery and Human Trafficking Prevention Month. That seems like an important one. Yep. That's third on this list. I feel like maybe we should make that maybe, yeah, that maybe a little higher. Put that one up maybe to the top. Higher. Okay. So then we go to February. It's uh, Black History Month. Everybody knows that. But it is also American Heart Month and LGBT History Month. Oh, LGBTQ R L M N O P. See the 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 the, the, the heart one I get because heart disease is a is, is a problem in our country and I know it does but just adversely it's a affect weird African to go American in men. No, but I think it does adversely affect African American men if I remember my statistics correctly. Now LGBTQ, don't jump on their month, man. That's black. Just like, that, that, that seems that, like something you should get month. your own month for. That's Black History Month. I'm not even you, knocking you on them just, for you, for you, hopping you, on Black you History Month. You literally had 11 other months you could have chose. You did. to do your history. You did. And you try, see that's why that's why nobody knows what it is because you fuck you branded yourself poorly. Okay, now March we go to March. All right, moving on. Ir- it, Irish History Month, right? Uh, Irish American Heritage Month. Very there good. Pat, go. way yeah. to go. St. Patrick's Day. I just Patrick's made an assumption. Um, it's also Women's History Month. So there we go. <sighs> Women just trying to take uh, Irish. brain injury awareness month. We got uh, that uh, one because the Irish like to get drunk and fall over. Oh, that's, that's a good what it point. Is. Yep. 
Robert, you look like you were about to say something. Well, there's one on that list for March that I'm not sure if it's made up or not. Hexagonal Awareness Month. Hey, which one do you think is he- did made you, up? Did you uh, Hexagonal Awareness Month? Like a lot of people forget about hexagons. What? Yeah, I mean the what? Pentagon steals its thunder. Robert, I need you to do some research to what? Just hexagonal yeah, go, go check it out. If I think like there's another definition hey, of hexagon. Hey guys, that we're um, not I don't of. know if you know this, but hexagons are a shape too. So if you could just recognize them, please, that'd be great. Um, National Athletic Training Month and Youth Art Youth Art Month also mm-hmm. fall into the Irish March. are athletes. It's a fact. All right, what you got, Robert? Uh, right. so. It looks like it is just awareness of hexagons. There's here. There's a, Jesus fucking Christ. It looks oh, like you gotta know. A, See, puberty boners is definitely more important puberty cause boner, than hexagons. Well, well, what I was going to say earlier is August is actually open. So that's what we're going to start on Pu- August. August is there's puberty There's a Twitter boner. handle here called Hexagonal News, and it says he- celebrate Hexagonal Awareness Month with beer, food, and hexagonal something. I could celebrate like that. Hexagons have six sides. Yeah. I can celebrate by drinking at least six beers every day. I could do that too. Hey, let's drink six beers during this podcast in solidarity since we didn't know that Hexagonal Awareness I'm Month has already more passed. I'm on pace, my friend. All right. August, blank, nothing. So Puber- puberty, <laughs> puberty, puberty Boner Month. Puberty Boner Month and puberty Pass boner the Gravy month. Awareness Month. Puberty Boner Awareness Month. But we got to have – all right, we're going to hop on Pass oh. the Gravy Awareness <laughs> Month as well. We're going to oh, share man. that with Puberty Boner Awareness we're Month. We're going to have to make PBA awareness shirts. <laughs> we have we, – and if you don't think we will, if we remember this, somebody remind us in August. Hey, oh, there's no – dude, we're not going to remember this tomorrow. There's not a tomorrow. chance. There's not a chance. But August is also going to be Pass the Gravy Awareness Month where you just tell everybody that Pass the Gravy is a podcast and you got to listen to it. That's, I, like that. That, I like that one. Then September, Children's Cardiomyopathy Awareness Month, National Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. National Guide Dog Month. I already oh, think we had that, but bunny. still. Um, no, National Prostate Health Month, Pain Awareness Month, and National Honey Month. Okay. Uh, October, Black History Month, but in the UK. Okay. You would think we'd have the same Black History Months, wouldn't you? Uh, then Filipino American History Month, LGBTQ History Month is U.S. and Canada is October. Okay. Breast Cancer Awareness Month, National Disability Emp- Employment Awareness Month, National Work and Family Month, Polish American Heritage Month. Man, I'm running out of all of these. Um, November is Movember, which is to men's health issues such yep. as prostate cancer and depression, which is like really like they don't really describe it at all. It's just Movember. That's because you grow the mustache. I know, but like they're just like, yeah, we're just not gonna. <laughs> not Men's Health Awareness well, Month. M- well, Movember, it's got uh, enough yeah. branding now to where people know what it is. National Novel Writing Month, National American Indian slash Alaska Native Heritage Month. And then December, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. <laughs> those are holidays. Those are not awareness <laughs> months. And that's it. So those are all of our awareness months, guys. That's pretty good. I feel like we've all learned something today. So August and, and I December hope are tuned open. Out. August is what we're going to take. Yeah. Well, of course, December... They're already in the middle of the year. Mm-hmm. You're starting to see the same girls every day. You kind of get whole. Also, it's cold. I get you. So, like, yeah. you know. But just oh, Awareness Month is a thing, and I feel like we all learned a lot about C-section Awareness Month. We so, did. shout out to the mamas out there. We are a mom podcast. All the hot mamas, because that's what you are. You're hot. I, all mamas are hot, because mm-hmm. that like you brought life into this world, and that's sexy as fuck to me. Mm-hmm. That's what I always say. There you go. Yeah. There you go. We are mom positive. On this podcast, I know we got a couple of moms true. tuning into this bad boy. Uh, shout What's out, up, shout out, Casey. Shout out to uh, Ashley. Shout out to Lauren. I know all you girls are listening. Y'all are all moms. Shout out Danielle Weston. Shout out to her too. Yep. She she's got a baby Parker too. So all you and mamas don't tweet in and say you're a there. dog mom that doesn't count. But to shout out to all you guys too. Yeah. Stephanie, well, I mean, shout out because you have dogs and dogs are awesome. But don't. Stephanie Ibaba is basically a dog mom, anyways, though, because she like yeah, but that's not the same thing. As but she watches mom. everybody's dogs too. So like, that's yeah. a lot of dogs. Which is a lot of babies that she has to take care of. Yeah, but like you don't have to take care of dogs like babies. Dogs you can just fucking play with them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Baby, I don't. Babies you have to constantly watch so that they just don't die. Dogs aren't just gonna die because they're too awesome. Yeah, unless they're in the street. So keep your dogs out. Of- National keep your dog out of the street month. <laughs> that should be a month. That's a good one for December because it's also slippery. So like a car could try and stop and not mm-hmm. be able to. Mm-hmm. All right, we're adding that one to the list too. Yep. All right. Somebody has, Somebody edit Wikipedia for somebody us. Somebody go back and write all that down. Send us a list on Twitter, please. Puberty Boner Awareness oh, Month. I'll and be expecting don't let it. your dogs in the street month. We'll be expecting it by the end of the week. All right. Uh, let's get into where you've been. And this is just kind of where we tell you guys what we've been up to since we last did the podcast. Here we go. Where you been? 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 
All right, Pat, what about you? Where have you been? Buddy? I uh, Saturday, I helped one of my coworkers move into her new house, which is fucking huge and yeah. beautiful, and it's going to be dope. I can't wait for her to throw a pool party. That's going to be awesome. But then also, I watched uh, The Dirt, the the Motley Crue movie. Oh, yeah, what'd you think? Phenomenal. Like I, I, I say phenomenal. It was not really a phenomenal movie, but I really loved it. And uh, But I, I did have one major problem with the movie and it wasn't the acting or the screenplay or the writing or anything like that it was the fact that how are you gonna make an hour and 40 minute long movie about motley crew there's a lot of fucking in there and not once do you mention that tommy lee has a gigantic penis <laughs> i was telling you last week i was like all i can think of when i think of tommy lee is that like his dick can honk a boat horn yeah like I feel like a lot of kids our age how does that way too if you saw that video make the movie he's running around in like a fucking speedo that might be the part two and part stuff. two might be that and that like and it's not in the, the dude that played Ozzy was fucking amazing yeah like that one Ozzy's in one scene and I feel like that guy should get an Academy Award for best pretty supporting great. actor a little over the top but then like the way they explain it is like nah it wasn't at all that's over just at all what they that's probably how it exactly was well like, yeah dude just. And, and really the awesome thing about it was is it got me listening to a shit ton of Motley Crue this I week. I listened to some uh, I forgot uh, how well. much like I forgot how many fucking just bangers they had yeah. dude good band god damn what a good great band. band and then of course as soon as you hear Home Sweet Home it just made me think of Hot Tub Time Machine mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> Motley Lou <Lue. laughs> <laughs> Hot Tub Time Machine super underrated movie it really was It was, and what, what's that fucking actor's name the bald guy uh, Rob Corddry. Rob Corddry. <laughs> I fucking love him. He's good in everything, but in he's that in movie, ballers too. He's, he's really funny. Really in ballers. Always great in ballers. But I mean, that, yeah, that's pretty much what I did. I didn't do a lot this weekend, like that and a load of laundry. That's basically okay. all. I well, got hey, done. you got some laundry done. That's good. I did, and it that's... was like a, it was like a half load. It wasn't oh, even full. <laughs> well, like I got to do some more. laundry's better than no laundry. I got to do more tonight because like this is my last pair of socks that I'm wearing. Ooh, and I hate athlete's foot, so I won't rewear. Do you ever just buy? A new pair of socks because like you want to avoid. No, but I will. I, I have uh, found like like I've worn like a black sock and a white sock before. Oh yeah, I mean that's tails all the time. Based <laughs> on that, I I really try to at least keep them the same color. <laughs> but there's been times when I was like, Ugh. all right, so that's where you've been. Yeah. Okay. Well, I uh, I have been. I went I went up to Maryland for a a funeral. Not to get too dark, but it was uh, for for my grandmother's funeral. I have never spoken at a funeral before, and this was the first one I did speak at. And it was uh, it was tough to make it through there, man. Like uh, I'm not like I'm not one that like cries a lot, and I was able to mm-hmm. kind of hold it together until uh, we went to an open casket, and I just kind of like lost it there for a little bit. Yeah, that's rough. And then I, I kind of had to gather it back together. My dad spoke; he did the eulogy and everything, did a really good job, and I was like. He's not breaking down, man. You better hold your shit together. And then I went up and did my part, and I, I limped through it and made it through, though. But uh, miss you, Nan Nan, and, uh, mm-hmm. and rest in peace. So uh, we went up there. We flew up on Friday, uh, flew up to Baltimore. I had to drive about two, two and a half hours from Baltimore down to Salisbury, Maryland, and then just kind of did funeral stuff that whole Saturday, came back Sunday, and I've really just kind of been like watching college basketball in between all of that. We had it on Friday. We got a, we got a rental car that was a, a Malibu. We called it the Malibu Tay. Of course. But I mean, what, what else are you gonna call it? But it had like Wi-Fi in the car, and I've never been in a car with it, or like that I was aware of that had Wi-Fi in it. And so when my, my brother was driving, and I was like, yo, we could just watch the games on my iPad in the car. And so he put the car up on the dashboard. <laughs> And we're just like, oh, this is safe. Yeah, this is really safe. But hey, we're living. We're living, baby. <laughs> and we were watching. Uh, we were watching the, uh, yeah, the North Carolina game because they felt they lost to Auburn on our way up there, and uh, that was pretty insane. So that was cool. Got got that car, and uh, that was a pretty dope car. They had like Apple CarPlay. I had never had that either. So your car like immediately syncs with it. Everything goes right to the little screen. It's pretty sick. I'm. Mean, this is not a Chevy. You, you yet. didn't have to set anything up. It just automatically. You just plug sync. it in. Yeah, yeah. Like you had to like. What do you mean? You, you, plug, have, to, like, you, you have, have to. You just sync in. Like yeah, I want to like like it'll ask you if you want to sync with the car, and you just click yep, and it, it hooks it up That's right dope. there like that. So that was basically what I meant by plugging it That's in. That's dope. I then watch that. just watch a lot of college basketball. I told you I had done well betting on college basketball last weekend, this past weekend. Nope. Gave it all right back. God damn it, Duke. Fucked everybody up. Uh, mostly the Purdue-Virginia game. I found myself in one of the very – 
few times where I have live betted multiple times in a game. Mm-hmm. And every time I did it, it was like, oh, okay, I'll lose again. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. I'll lose again. Oh, overtime. Oh, fuck. I'll lose again. And so I like lost every bit of money that I had made on March Madness. And then I got a little bit back up on, on the plane on Sunday on the way back with the, uh, with the Kentucky game, even though they lost, I still, I still covered, but, uh, or I said, I hit the over on that, but I was like clapping on the plane when they hit the over and they had to go to overtime to hit the over. But like, yeah. I was like, I'm not going to give anybody any context, but I'm assuming people are like, oh, he's probably either a Kentucky or, or a Kentucky or Auburn fan, or he's betting on this game. But like being able to watch a game on a plane, that's living, baby. It's game changing. That's living. Yeah, it is. I think I'm going to start betting this football season. You should. I've like, I've always been like so cheap. I'm like, I don't want to do this. We could do our own little podcast, our betting podcast. We could, but I, I think I think I'm. <laughs> the way you said we could like, is. Eh. I think. Well, I, I I think I'm just gonna get into like a uh, little heads up daily fantasy ones, mm. like not pools and everything, just one on one. You pick a team, I pick a team. You know, through like DraftKings. We can do that. Is. Maybe hey DraftKings, you wanna uh, uh, sponsor? But I think I, I think I'm gonna start it this year, and uh, and I think it's gonna be a very bad decision because it's gonna. Dude, it's so much fun though. Like it, it sucks like, when you lose, but like it gives you a rush, man. You're like you got you're like glued to games. I already have that you two w- fantasy teams that I have to root for, or like you know that I have opposing players. Right. Like now, if I start doing daily fantasy, it's just gonna. But fuck you just up get like my... glued to games that you would not give a shit about. Oh no, I I already do that. Yeah, but just wait till you're like you better fucking score. You better fucking score. You better fucking score. You better fucking score. It's not my guy, but you better fucking score. I don't care. It's, it's how it works. Oh, and that's how I'm the addiction ar- starts. I'm already the fucking worst. Like, uh, just regular fantasy, just where I have not that much money on my leagues. And I fucking sit there and I scream at TVs for, like, a Panthers versus fucking Bills game. I'm like, why the fuck would you not give it to my player? <laughs> Go. What the fuck, He's man? He's not fucking tight end and you've got a stud running back with throwing on the <laughs> one yard line. I feel that. I feel that. All right, so that's where you've been, then, guys. Yeah. Um, why don't we tell you guys about? We tell you guys about Blue Apron real fast, guys. Blue Apron. I know you guys hear us talk about it every single week. It is the number one leading meal kit delivery service in the United States. While many people know what they are, there's a lot of many of people that do not know about all the great types of meals that you're gonna get when you use Blue Apron. You're not gonna just be having burgers for dinner. You're gonna be making short rib burgers with hoppy cheddar sauce on a pretzel bun. You're going to be preparing seared steaks with mashed potatoes, green beans, and crispy shallots all in under 45 minutes and without having to make a trip to that pesky grocery store. They're going to offer you three different meal plans, the two-person plan, the family plan, and a wine plan. Pick which one you want and get involved with Blue Apron today. Here are some of the great items you're going to get from Blue Apron if you order this week through our link, blueapron.com slash PTG. You're going to get Texas-style chicken fried steaks and pass the gravy. They, they they didn't call it that, but we're gonna call it that. <laughs> and I'm going to ask them if they'll just give us our own uh, our own like meal of the month. Mm. They gave Chrissy Teigen one. We're basically Chrissy Teigen fame, right? I like to think a, so. A, little, a couple of degrees below, but still, huh. but still, Texas style chicken and or Texas style chicken fried steaks and gravy, seared chicken, seared wild Alaskan Pollock or Pollock, as we said last week, right? Pollock, yep. Uh, pesto pasta. That's just, you're trying to trip me up on that one. Curry chicken pitas, orange glazed meatballs, Austin style breakfast tacos, and roasted vegetable grain bowls. All of that sounds awesome. And like I, like I just said, you can get it all at blueapron.com slash PTG. We're even going to give you your first three meals for free at blueapron.com slash PTG. Blueapron.com slash PTG. Get your first three meals for free at blueapron.com slash PTG. It's Blue Apron, guys. A better way. To cook. A very Texas heavy week they got going. I on know, there. I like it. Yeah, let's get to the comeback kid of the week. That uh, this is how we just kind of shoehorn things that we wanted to talk about that are back in the news into our show. This is here it is. It's the comeback kid. The comeback kid of the week. The comeback kid of the week, bitch. I'm just trying to add one little thing to the end of it every single week. All right. Um, I, I didn't see add an extra little, like in my head, it's ba dun da dun ba dun tits. But like that, there's no tss. In my head, there's a symbol every time. Yeah. And like I drum along to it, and then every week I go, oh shit, I'm adding an extra note. 
It's like a little any questions, <laughs> but only to you. Yeah. No, it's like how people think there was a. Uh, you know how people think Sinbad starred in a genie movie that was never actually made? That like that's what it is. In my brain, there's one extra note, but it was just yeah. never there. Yeah, I feel you on that. Yeah. All right, so I didn't add this one to our uh, our little sheet, but plant fires in Texas, I feel like, are back. Yep. <laughs> because we got a new one in Crosby. Yeah. And I, I tweeted this out yesterday. I was like, I am not a scientist. I'm not. A, I don't. I'm not a wizard. I'm not a doctor. An astronaut. I'm not a, none of those. I'm not an oilsman. If, <laughs> but okay. Just a thought. Make maybe we don't like set highly flammable chemicals on fire, like around like well, highly populated areas. Well, just an idea. Purpose. Just an idea. I know, but just like, just don't. You know, let's, just let, what if we did it? Like what we've been doing lately. Let's just try the opposite let's for n- a little while. Here's here's an idea. Let's not start stuff on fire. You know, I don't know. I mean, but like setting stuff on fire is cool. It is. Not, Not like this, though. When people have to shelter in place after you do it. And when people have died. But this is like, yeah, one person died today. Or not today, I guess yesterday. They did die. One person did die. Like two were in the hospital. That sucks. Yeah. That really sucks. And it's just like, why is it happening all of a sudden? Yeah. But like, it's like we already have shitty, unclean air. Let's stop making now it more it's worse. unclean. Now it's worse. Yeah, now it's not. It's even worse than it Right was. now, our air is like basically the equivalent of Galveston water. But, so let's put a positive spin on it. What doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. So That's true. We're all building up immunities or superpowers. Which is pissing me off because I'm just trying to die at this point. <laughs> You're like, I've seen everything there is. Like, uh, Honestly, like, it I puts a burden paying- on me, though. Like, I had to find a co-host again, and <laughs> me and Robert are going to have to start the whole search up again that we had to do after Chris had made Dude, his it's, announcement. I mean, it's six months before Chris doesn't make it and have to move back anyway. Whoa. <laughs> Chris, Chris has already made it. He's uh, he's sitting in a, on an iron throne in Rockefeller <laughs> Plaza. <laughs> He's finding them. He's the New York City hide and seek champ slash Game of Thrones champ. Yeah. And, you know, if Curtis hasn't moved back by now, he's not coming back. So I think he's good. Yeah. You can't get him back. I think once you get rid of past the gravy in your life, you're just over it. You're like, <laughs> I don't ever want to go back. Fuck that. <laughs> John doesn't uh, want to come uh, back. I was about to say, I can't imagine getting that point. But, you know, I'm only a year in. Well, That's hey, I hope, I hope you never do. I, I hope you never I do because the- I am having a lot of fun. The other you. day I just started laughing because I was thinking about being like 38 and still doing this. And I was like, that'd be fucking awesome. Dude, right? Like, even if it never took off. Even if it was just still this every week. Well, somebody I was, like, was asking this me. This would be a lot of fun. Somebody's asking me, like, well, what would you want to do, like, career wise? And I was like, I mean, I have a podcast. <laughs> I would love it if that kind of got big. And they're like, well, like, what would you, like, what, when do you think, like, you'd stop doing the podcast? And I was like, I don't really ever want to stop doing the yeah. podcast. Like, I don't care what I'm doing. I'd love to always do the podcast. Yeah. Like, if I ever, like, and I, I'm, this is not, like, anything that's going to happen anytime soon, but, like, no. if I were to ever in 10 years have, like, my own show, on a radio station, like I would still do the podcast just because this is my bread and butter. I can say whatever the fuck I want. And nobody can tell me what I can, I can and can't say mm-hmm. on my podcast. Which actually, if you have your own show, maybe that's the time that would be to stop. I so, wouldn't, like, though, you can't but fuck, I wouldn't. You can't fuck yourself out of your show with something you say on the podcast. No, because then I'll be like, I didn't say that on the show. I said it on the podcast. Totally different thing. Totally different I mean, thing. that does hold up it, in my lawyer It's like brain. international waters. This is what the podcast is. It's now, like especially you, if you like laws don't apply. If you were, had your own show, you'd have enough money to float out to international waters every week and do it. That's, and then that'll they be really a, can't touch. Yeah, it. that'll be our new podcast. We're going to start, and it's just going to be called International Waters. International Waters. Yeah. And international that. Gravy. All right. Um, this week's first comeback kid that is on the list, not just plant fires in Texas, but it's fools. Fools. Fools, fools are back because it was April Fools' Day on Monday. And there was like a meme I saw that was like, oh, I love that April Fool's Day is the one day of the year where people actually vet the information that they see online before they believe it. It's like, that's true. Did did you have to do that in the morning when you're like, all right, it's April Fool's Day. Anything I see sports wise, I have to like not take seriously. Yeah, kind of. I I, I had that thought. Kind of. That was what I had pretty much done. But But then, then, like, like, I just didn't believe, like, even if you told me something that seemed legit, I just didn't believe it. Like, I got, and so many people sent me the, uh, oh, did you see the Seahawks traded Russell Wilson to the Giants? I was like, no, they didn't. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Nope. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. They did not. They did not. That's, they did that, not. See, that's too obvious. It has to be subtle to be believable. Right. But, like, people kept, like, there was somebody who made a Photoshop and they sent it over, like, they're about to trade two first round picks and two second round picks. I'm like, they're not going to. I yeah. know they're not going to. Like, that would be kind of tight, but, like, they're not going to. The worst, uh, the worst April Fool's prank. I was, I guess you could say I was a part of, but it was tried. My mom tried to play it he on me. He murdered a guy. No. I like come downstairs. Was like, like, I, I, I think I'm like nine years old. And my mom's like, oh, you see that bunny out by the fence? And like, I'm looking through the window in the kitchen. I'm like, what? 
She's like, there's a bunny over there by the fence. I'm like, I don't see it. She's like, it's right there. I'm like, I don't, I don't see anything, mom. I don't know what you're looking at. And she tried to keep this on for like four minutes. I'm like, I, I don't. What, do, it, what are you getting at? And she goes, April Fools. And I was like, mom, I never saw it. Like, there's not even a stain on the fence that looks like a bunny. Like, you can't just go oh, look at something that's not there. That's not a good. Well, she April fooled Fool. you into looking. Though, <laughs> even, so I'm like nine years old, and I'm like, mom, what the fuck are you doing? Like, it didn't occur to me it was April first. The entire time, I was just like, no, mom, I don't see a bunny. Uh, like, have you started drinking already? What's up? Are you, are you on drugs? <laughs> that one always sticks with me. That, like, my mom thought it was the funniest fucking thing ever. And I assume, looking back, my mom was probably drinking already in the morning. Well, why wouldn't you? I think it was, I assume it was on a weekend. Yeah. Because uh, I wasn't in school. I mean, and even if you are, then you're April Fool and everybody that you're not drinking. Well, I mean, I'm not shaming my mom for drinking on a random Saturday at fucking 8.30 Hell, in the I morning. Hell, I drink on a random Saturday all the time. But like, it, it just makes me laugh because it was the worst attempt at an April Fool's joke I've ever encountered. I've never come close to finding a worse one. Like, not even close. Well. And it just, it, it that's what I, every every year on, April's first, uh, on April Fool's Day, I think about that. And it you, makes me smile. You should get her a rabbit and be like, hey, mom. <laughs> hey, mom, you see this rabbit? I doubt she'll remember. She was shit-faced. She probably didn't fucking remember. <laughs> All right, well. Uh, so I didn't really have any like crazy April Fools. Anything's happened. So. Yeah, me either. But I was I was there on was the one that like I, I I had retweeted it too, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't an April Fools thing. But it was just a, and I was like I told my brothers like man we need to jump on this line because it was just a, a recent update on the MVP race, and James Harden was like plus three hundred and Giannis was minus two hundred. I'm like how I are saw these that the too. fucking lines? Like how like James Harden is plus it was he was I think he was plus two hundred. I'm like. Let's fucking jump on that. Take a, put a million dollars Because especially it. it was like the day after, like, because I'm pretty sure on the 31st he dropped 50 again. Yeah. And I was like, let's fucking jump on that. So like, over, how are these the lines? Who's making these lines? Over the weekend, speaking of futures, um, I bet money on North Carolina because they went to plus 750 to win the tournament. And I was like, well, it's either going to be North Carolina or Duke. So I put money on both of them. Wrong. And I was like, well, like I'll win money on either of them, and it'll make up for the money I spent on the other one. Wrong. Nope, and they both got knocked out. Yeah, so I was just like, ah, this is, here's more money. Just take more of my money. Fuck yeah. me, right? I did bet somebody on uh, Duke versus Michigan State, though, so, so I lost that. Every time I feel like something's a sure thing, I know that I'm full of shit, so just don't listen to me Yeah. Next, next time. Um, all right. Like, remember when I was like, Odell's never going to get traded. <laughs> Fuck me, right? Um, okay, our next comeback kid. Oh, our sweet Prince Harambe. He is back in the news, as is media mogul. And I guess not media mogul, but just Technology mogul. mogul? Technology mogul. Just famous Elon Musk, pot smoker. Elon Musk. He uh, has, has hopped on the rap train. He's a rapper now. And he put out this just fire I still jam haven't listened. I'm excited. Of, it's called uh, R.I.P. Harambe. If it'll play. Ever. Oh, yeah. It's just auto tune. Funny thing is, he's so rich too. He can just pay like really good producers to make a good song around his shitty rapping. And it's got Harambe in it, so it's gonna be good anyway. Are we are we gonna do this? No. Let's... Wait. It, okay, that's not Elon. Yeah, it's just auto tune. This is Elon. No, that's not Elon. Wait till we get to a course. All we ever do, thinking about you. We back at the zoo, man. Thinking about you, man. There's no way that's Elon. Mother, mother. We miss you. We really miss you. What the fuck was... That's just when you're trying to activate the auto dance. So it's not it's not like the best song ever, but, but like it's not terrible. It, it sounds said, like when you're that rich, you can just hire fucking great producers to make great beats. For it you. sounds like a lot of stuff T Pain could have put together. Yeah, T Pain was mostly auto tune. I was say it sounded closer to T Pain than it did to fucking Elon Musk. Yeah, so Dude's got a weird accent. Good on him. Uh, the Joker is another comeback kid. Yeah. All right, I'm not the superhero guy, but I like I said to you guys before we started, if I had to be a superhero guy, Batman was my jam when yeah, I was Batman's growing up shit. as a kid. 
I gotta go. Batman is my favorite superhero. Yep, and like, I'm with you. I, like the, all the way through, like the most re- the most recent uh, 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 Batman movies, the Dark Dark Knight, I've Dark Knight Rises. Deadpool, right? I think Deadpool. I don't know if I can say Deadpool's overtaken Batman, but he's at least on level with me. By the way, as Christian Bale, I watched Vice on on t- Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, it was Monday. Ooh, I watched was Vice. That? It was pretty good. I really liked it, man. And it's like it is political, but like it's funny, and it's not like even if you don't agree with it, like you're like, oh, I mean, everyone kind of understands that Dick, Dick Cheney kind of was a cartoon character. Yeah, come to but like anyway. Christian Bale it does his Dick Cheney voice, but like his Dick Cheney voice is a lot like. <laughs> Batman. So there were a lot of times I was like, "Are you Dick Cheney? Are you Batman? I don't know." What? I've always, hey, in, Donald Rumsfeld. In my head, Dick Cheney's always had more of a penguin voice. I could see that. Yeah, but on this movie, just because it was Christian Man. Bale, maybe George. That's not really how he we talks. We gotta invade Iraq. Man. <laughs> was he from like the 1920s? I don't know. I can't do it. Ah, come on over here, old I boy. I can't do the penguin voice. <laughs> oh boy, he's got like a big cigar in his mouth. He totally, like, if, if Dick Cheney was around in the 20s, he totally would have been a monocle and then long cigar guy. I wish we could bring monocles Or long back. cigarette guy. We're going to bring something back next week. We'll talk monocles about Monocles are it. just we'll so impractical. It. Yeah. Impractical. All right, so the Joker's back. Now, Robert, you come over here, too, because I watched you weigh in. Is it Joaquin Phoenix? Joaquin. And uh, I watched the trailer. Like I said this morning on the Rod Ryan show, I probably, like, it's probably not, like, a theater's movie for me, but, like, I'll definitely check it out when it comes out on video. Like, what, it, it, what is a theater movie for you? It, I, there are very few. Yeah, you there don't go are, to the theater very much. Like, it's got to be like, hey, you want to go see a movie? Or like, like Star Wars is a theater movie to me. I'll mm-hmm. go check out Star Wars. Uh, just just kind of like, it, it really depends. Like, uh, like Oscar season sometimes. We didn't, we didn't do it this season. year. Oscar season sometimes will just be like, hey, let's go check out this. But like, I can't really tell you like the last movies we went and saw in the theater. Just because we just don't do that on the reg. Like, there's not like... Like I know you guys get excited for like releases, like oh, in games coming out. Like I've never pre-bought tickets for like a premiere. I'm not hating on anybody that does. Like that's just I, that's just I don't do that. I've never done it. It's either. just not my thing. I've seen stuff on like the but night like, it came it, out. It, it, but, it's like, different for us. Like when you're invested in like a because uh, you will have like, like 75 well, movies yeah, that are like it it's, entwined it's, it's in a, this. It's, a series isn't the right word, well, but it's, when, it, when it's a long fucking continuous story, when it comes out, you can't wait a month and a half for it to hit. You know, red box right. or uh, you know, streaming or whatever it is, because it's so like prevalent everywhere else. You don't want to be spoiled of what's going on. You want to know because, like you said, we're ten years into this motherfucker now. Well, I think is that I think our boy Ryan Gonzalez that listens to the podcast. Yep. He's been binge right watching through the uh, like all of the mm-hmm. Marvel Cinematic Universe. I think there's like twenty seven movies, something like that, dude. So, and he so he's been like kind of counting down. I've been following, I've been seeing him on Twitter. So I know that, like, I know, but that's just like a lot of stuff. So I understand why it is appointment watching, why you want to go see it right when it comes out and stuff like that. But like, I just, I can't, like, I'm just not an, I'm not a big superheroes guy, and so like, I can't tell you. Like, I think Star Wars was the last one where I was like, oh, I want, I really want to go see that this weekend. You know, sometimes it's like, what are you doing? You want to go check out a movie? All right. I think Game Night might have been the most recent movie we went and saw, <laughs> and that was just like we were hanging out. It can't be the last movie I saw. Probably was in my head. Yeah. In my head, the only movies you go see are comedies. Usually, I don't really like, like. Yeah, I'm not like. In, I I wanted to go see. Uh, was it, not Get Out. Uh, Us. No. Uh, John Krasinski's movie. Oh. Uh, Quiet Place. Quiet Place. Quiet Place. I wanted to go see that. I didn't make it out to that. But then I, I when I saw it, I was like, I really wish I saw that in theaters. It seems like it was such a better movie to watch in theaters. I understand that there Probably are movies. For the ambiance, yeah. yeah, there are movies that are better to watch in theaters. It's just like I'm like that's why I said about Bohemian about Rhapsody. That. You should have seen Bohemian Rhapsody in theaters. Yeah, I did want to go see it, but then like I saw that all that shit was sold out in that first weekend, and like that just like yeah, I just never went and saw it. I didn't go. Yeah, I saw no, I saw Jurassic Park first weekend. I made a point to go see Jurassic I still Park. Haven't seen that one? Not the most recent, the like when the first one, the first reboot came out, like the first Chris Pratt one came oh, out. Okay. I I made a point to Jurassic see that World? Jurassic World. I went and saw it the opening weekend specifically, so I could say I saw it. And so was that three years ago now? Uh, yeah. But then I guess Star Wars might have come out before that. I know Star Wars Since came out. Then. Yeah. But Force Awakens I saw, then I saw the other one like a, two did weeks after. Did you see Solo? I did not see Solo. I don't so, count that as a so, real Solo I don't count got, that as a Solo real Star Wars Star Wars. By a lot of people. Solo was really good though. I've I've got to I'm gonna check it out. I I'm surprised I haven't seen it yet, but like Rogue One I saw pretty quickly in the theater. Rogue One was fucking phenomenal. Why did people shit on it though? No Jedi's. I don't understand. Why, why do we shit on Star Wars movies? But like the seventy fifth like superhero movie 
is not shit on. I don't understand it because I think that they're they're still fucking good. I don't I don't get it, and, and I'm pissed I, off. Is it is it older people people that are older than us that are just like, well, you know, in the originals, Lucas well, would have Ro- never Ro- done this. Ro- Rogue One didn't get messed with as much because it was a story. It was that following every, that, that storyline that, that everybody's wanted to know about how the fuck did they get the plan. So it's a great story behind it. Really disappointed they didn't put Bothans in it. They said in the movies a lot of Bothans died to get that information. We didn't see that. But then Han Solo gets shit on pretty much just because you can't recreate Harrison Ford's interpretation of it. Which, I mean, kids still did a great job. Everyone else fucking nailed their parts. But it really pissed me off because there was supposed to be a Boba Fett movie coming after that. After Han Solo didn't do what they anticipated in theaters, they fucking shelved that shit. But I could go on forever about that. But but anyway, back to what started all this. The Joker. It, I think it looks fucking dope. A it lot looks of, entertaining. A lot I've, of people are kind of angry, which is... Uh, the Joker doesn't need a backstory? Is that what they're saying? That, that was always what it was, was Joker had no backstory. We had no idea what caused it, where he came from. And that's why he was such a great character, because he was so mysterious. But people don't realize there was actually someone who already wrote a comic about this, what, 15 years ago? That gave... It's called uh, Just Joking Around. No, that's not what it's called. The story uh, of the Joker. I believe it's called One Bad Day. One Unfortunate Day. One Bad Day. Something like that. Here that we gives, go. Like, it's not necessarily canon, but how just one fucked up day really just turned this one dude to go fucking fully insane and become the Joker. I don't know. It, this seems like it's kind of some points that were in that, but yeah. but not 100%. But, like, dude, Walking Phoenix is going to bring the fucking thunder on this. This looks dope. I think it's a little a little strange that it's making him, like, seem sympathetic. But, like, I don't know. I, I'm, That's I'm, the age we live in, Robert. I'm, I'm a little mixed on the, on the trailer. You know what it made me think of was um, the new X Men movies, where like no matter what they do, they always try and bring it back to Magneto's not a bad guy. Mm-hmm. That's what it made me think of a little bit. Like, dude, yeah. stop trying to make him sympathetic. Like, yeah, what's going on is sad, but like he's still the fucking Joker. This is a guy that we know is going to murder ten thousand people. Yeah, over the course of his criminal career, like you can't do too much to make this guy try and seem like not a bad yeah. guy. But like that's kind of what the comic was for. He was just a regular dude. I think in the comic he was a stand-up comedian. Yeah. And uh, just shit went wrong and dude fucking just snaps and becomes the Joker. And then, you know, it goes from there. So, like, there's a, spoiler. A, little, there's a little bit of, like, I think there's a little bit of that in this trailer. And, like, you kind of, like, when you're creating any movie, there has to be some sort of sympathy towards the main character and everything. But, like, at the end of it, they better fucking burn all those bridges. Mm-hmm. All right, we got one final... Comeback kid left, and that is the final four, because the final four. So our brackets are fucked on our oh, uh, past the gray pool. I picked North Carolina to win, I, and like, <laughs> I got I got up to fourth place, and I dropped down to just eight. fell down, just fell, <laughs> just fell out of it. Fucking Duke screwed me. Yeah, not great for any of us. Michigan State, Texas Tech, Virginia, and Auburn will be the final four playing in Minneapolis this weekend Tennessee fucked me too dude Tennessee I, I had Purdue over Tennessee I actually had Purdue that Purdue final coming fucking that call one. was a little ticky tack but like he did body him a little bit so yeah head body head body uh, but final four man happy like, tech though I mean we're going Texas tech, tech, right? Texas tech and Auburn it's their first time ever getting we're, to the we're final rooting four for tech though right I am personally yeah, I mean, like, you gotta, fuck you, Michigan State well you gotta root for Texas Virginia sounds like vagina so like we don't want That's them to true. win and then Auburn, Bruce Pearl's cool. Bruce Pearl's committed 17 recruiting violations during this tournament. Look, I like that, though. I like I like the bad He's boy. He's a great I like coach, rooting but for like, the bad boy. This dude cannot stop doing violations. You know me, Pat, though. I like rooting for the bad boy, and if we were picking Backstreet Boys to be, I'd obviously be AJ. Right? Robert would be Nick Cannon. I mean, not Nick Cannon. Nick, uh... Fucking Nick, Nick Carter. Nick Carter. There you go. And then you'd be the other one. I don't know. Brian. Was, you'd be I, Brian. I was more of an NSYNC guy myself. You'd be Brian. You'd be Joey Fatone. <laughs> yeah. Joey was my dude. <laughs> yeah, you'd be jo- <laughs> you'd be Joey Fatone. So obviously Hey, outside of JT, Joey Fatone has had the best career. Uh Lance Bass has been pretty successful. Not lately. really As though, but like Joey Fatone like hosts shows and shit now. Not shows I know, but like on Game Show Network and shit like that. Dude, so does Lance Bass. Last I heard of Lance Bass, he, he was like bought like, the Brady Bunch house. Last I heard from Lance Bass, he was like paying the Russian government to send him into space, and that was like six years ago. First off, going to space 
is the coolest thing that any of the Backstreet Boys would have done had he done it. So. I don't know if it ever went through. I just knew he was paying. Well, I feel like we would know if it went through. Also, I'm not going to pay the Russian government to send me anywhere in a spacecraft. It's Russia. Ugh. Oh, we could have drafted him, though, last week. We could have put Lance Bass on our draft of Russians. By the way, speaking of that. That's true. Shit. Speaking of that and shoehorning Final Fours into it. What a, look at that. Look at a way to tie it all together, guys. That actually sounded like it was planned. It really it wasn't. Didn't. It was not at all planned. <laughs> it's mock draft time. And because the Final Four is this weekend in Minneapolis, mm-hmm. we're going mm-hmm. to do a mock mm-hmm. draft mm-hmm. of fours. Now, these are just things that come in fours. It could be the number four, something having to do with the number four, four sums, anything like that. It's just a mock draft of fours last week and our mock draft of Russia. I went back to back, guys. Uh, I had 44% of the vote. Pat and Robert were tied with 28% of the vote. I was really shocked by that, honestly, because I thought, like, what do we do? do? So, I mean, we did this in uh, Mount Rushmore season where if, if you don't, beat somebody the week the next week then like we just reuse yeah. that order so yeah. since robert went first even though robert just threw that i feel like i feel like robert just tried to be funny he tried to go for the funny no like, i and it I, bit him I, in the I ass. like where he went with it i did it too just... it was original he was thinking outside the box gave us some better draft picks i thought especially me but we're just gonna go robert first because yep. robert and you tied so robert will go first again then you'll go second again. I'll go third. Then I'll go Robert. You. There's no snake draft in mock draft season. So no with, sneaky snakes. No snickety snakes. So uh, without further ado, where's my uh, music? It is Robert Barbosa. You are on the clock with the first overall pick. All right. I'm going to go with Ninja Turtle. Teenage Mutant one. Ninja Turtle. Yeah, I knew there was one of two he was going with. That's a good pick. I had that on my list That's as well. That's a strong pick. Yeah, it was on my list too. I'm going to go with The Beatles, arguably the most famous foursome of all time. Yeah, I had that as well. I was thinking about taking that first, so yep. fuck. All right, well, my other option for not taking first, uh, for not taking The Beatles first, I'm going to go Mount Rushmore. I feel like that is like, it's literally one. set in stone <laughs> as probably the best foursome of, of all time, you know? That's a good one. It's, uh, it's Washington, Lincoln, Jefferson, and Theodore Roosevelt, yep. if any of you guys were, were wondering, so... Mount Rushmore, that is my number one pick. Robert, back to you. All right, I feel like this is another obvious one. I'm going to go with Fantastic Four. Yep. Uh, uh, like, I don't know about you, Alex. You you anticipated those were going to be his first two, right? I thought Fantastic Four would have been first, yes. That's, that's where I was thinking, too, though. All right, my next one, I'm going to go with Four Score and Seven Years Ago. God, I had that. For, what's it from? What's it from? Old Honest Abe. From the, from the Gettysburg Address. <laughs> Four Score... Seven years ago. Yep, solid, solid pick, and I had that on my list. Also, um, okay, what am I gonna go with? <sighs> I guess I'm gonna go with uh, the Channel Four Action News Team oh, from shit. Anchorman. I got Ron Burgundy, Champ Kind, Brian Fantana, and Brick Tamland. God damn, that's and a good it one. is the Channel Four News Team, yeah. and it's with four guys. So I think that's a pretty solid one. That's good. That's good. Back to you, Robert. All right, I'm going to do a little Homer pick here and go with George Springer. Because he's number four. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, that's a good one. That is a good one. That is good. I like that. All right, Pat, back to you. I'm going to go with the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Man, it was a little silent after that. No, No reaction from either one of you. Okay, fuck you guys. That's a strong pick. I don't know who that is, though. I've heard of the not four, a big four, Bible four. guy, are you? Oh yeah, not not really, <laughs> not really. Um, okay, what am I gonna go with next? Uh, there's a couple that I could pick, but I feel like I gotta go with the Ghostbusters. Damn, the Ghostbusters. That was one of mine too. Solid yeah. fi- that's a solid four right there. That's a damn good four right there. That is a damn good four. Right, Robert. Back to you. All right. So I didn't really have. A good list this week, so I'm gonna go with uh, Four Seasons Hotel. Ooh, <laughs> that is a good one. They're very classy. Funny thing is, I didn't have Four Seasons on my left uh, on list. I did have The Four Seasons. I had that as well. Yeah. <laughs> I also had that. Four Seasons Hotel. That's a good one. Ricky Valley and the. Four All season. right, now for my last one. Ah, oh, shit. Where are we gonna go? You know what? Just to be true to myself, I gotta go South Park. You go South St- Park. Stan, Kyle, Cartman, and Kenny. That's a strong four right there. 
I had about nine different shows that I had to choose from right there, but uh, you know, it's my favorite show of all time. Gotta stick with my boys. Alright, hold on. I'm finishing writing all of this down. You guys don't realize how difficult it is to write and you draft can, you can, at the same you, time. You can just write South Park. I know, I'm just making later. sure. I'm making sure. Uh, okay, well then I am gonna go... <sighs> Alright, then does this... No, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I got a couple of options, and these are all gonna make great, great honorable mentions, I think. But... Do you, can I go forefathers? Our forefathers? I mean, I went four scored seven years ago, so I feel like I have to allow forefathers. Yeah, but forefathers isn't the word... It's not F O R F O U R. Eh. Okay, eh. if Robert's not gonna allow it, that's fine. I'll go Brett Favre. I'll go Brett Favre. Wow, you're just, just a snag. Oh, you're just a, a snag it from Pat. You're a dick. I'm gonna I go Brett Favre. I I told him beforehand I'm not going Favre just because I didn't know if there was enough Favre slash Packers fans listening. And uh, wow, that's just a, I think that's a hell of a pick at the very end. That's a fucking dick move to steal Favre from me. All right, so our uh, our final. God, I fucking mock hate drafts you. now. I think you. mine actually that just might have sealed it for me. I hate um, it. No, Robert has for for our mock draft of fours. Robert has the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Fantastic Four, George Springer, and Four Seasons Hotels. <laughs> Pretty strong draft, Robert. <laughs> uh, Pat has the Beatles, Four Score, and Seven Years Ago, aka the Gettysburg Address. He's got the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse and Stan, Kyle, Cartman, and Kenny from, from South, South Park. Park. I have Mount Rushmore, the Channel 4 Action News Team from Anchorman, Ghostbusters, and Brett Favre as my mock draft of four. Guys, these are these are pretty solid. Yo, I knew this one when I, when I texted you this week that we should do this. I was like, man, this is this going to be it's, leave a lot of room. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a heavily heated debate slash vote yeah. for the weekend. Right. So uh, honorable mentions. Let's, let's run I through have, that. Uh, four square. For, for the game, the yep. ga okay. I was I was actually thinking about making that my last pick. Yeah. I felt like I had to go Brett Favre uh, just because you had uh, the four seasons. Like I said already, spring, fall, winter, and whatever the fourth one is. I also, if we're going those, <laughs> then uh, then a compass, north, south, east, west. Yep, yep. Uh, the four elements: earth, wind, fire, and water. Mm -hmm. uh, the A team. I had that too. The four of them. Uh, Entourage. That was one I was very strongly considering. You know, the four guys. Right. E, right. Turtle drama and uh, Vinny. Uh, Seinfeld. Seinfeld's good. Seinfeld's Seinfeld is and, good. And probably the original foursome, The Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz, I just, you know, fuck those guys, though, really. Like, <laughs> they didn't even have a heart. One of them didn't have a brain. You know, like, that's not a great like, – I don't want to go to battle and, with and those also, guys. And also, like, technically you could say Toto was a main part of that group, too, so that made it five. That's why yeah, I Yeah, so go. it threw it off. All right, I had uh, Lou Gehrig yep, was, was another one. possibility. Bobby Orr, number four, Bobby yep. Orr. Bobby, I would have gone with him over Brett Favre, but I feel like Brett Favre, name worthy wise, yeah, and is also more recognizable. not a lot of hockey fans. Four here. scored seven years ago. I had I had four fathers. Was that that was disallowed? The NCAA Final Four, obviously. No, I now I was gonna immediately be like that's what inspired it. You can't go with the Final. Four. I mean, yeah, but which you is why I also but, didn't use the Frozen Four. Right, I had that written down too. Yeah, um, four floors of whores. The uh, Orchard Towers, the uh, place in Singapore where a lot of military servicemen go to, and it's just like a brothel. I've never heard of that. Four floors of horse. Uh, see, that's why I didn't pick that one. That's a good one. I'm glad I didn't. The Incredibles. Oh, that's Incredibles cool. would have been yep. Golden Girls, although I didn't watch it. I just saw that was a very popular one. Foreplay. Foreplay is good. Would that have counted? Yes. I would have counted it. Robert might not have because it wasn't spelled correctly. Yelling four and golf. That's another good one. Shit. Yelling like four, even though it's not the same four. But it's still four. But it's still four. And then yeah, yeah that was that was. I mean, you what could have made had. a whole list of fours that weren't actually the number four, but I would have allowed them all. Really? I mean, yeah. Is but it, but foreplay because I was gonna be like of wordplay. Foreplay, like you want to get right to here. the like foreplay maybe for the women because you know like the women like they don't, they want to be you know loved on. And Insertion is foreplay. Right, that's what I mean. That's how I was always taught. But like, I understand. I understand not everybody sees it that way. So uh, that was. I, our, knew, our, I knew this was gonna be a good one. I'm pretty excited, about. honestly. Like looking at it right now. This is one that like I can't even be mad about if I lose because I think you I have the weakest. Gonna, I, honestly, no, just being wrong. real, just no, being real. I think it's gonna be. I don't know because Robert came in like Four Seasons Hotels. I think is gonna be an underrated pick when it comes down to like voting <laughs> I time. I don't think so. Like, but like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is a strong first. Like once again, I let wanted me, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Once again, let me specify: I didn't think it would last, this, when you're placing your vote, do not place your vote on just one specific 
pick because well, I'm sorry, because a lot of times, a but a lot of times people pick like, oh well, that was the first. It's like that, yeah, that was the you, first you, overall you, pick for a reason, man. Like it's all about the team that you have assembled in these four picks. You should be happy with the way people vote because they vote against me just to piss me off. So don't try and influence well, or because you have shitty picks. I'm just saying. No, I have great saying. picks. You just have a wider audience to tweet out to. You fucking. Dick. I don't know about that, man. I do. You have what, 23, 2,400 followers? I've got 114. Hey, man. We're all and on the Pascal page. And then, and then I don't I, do it on my then, page. Then when I copy your vote for me, you fucking retweet and go, don't vote for him. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna <laughs> yeah, protect my you brand. You fucking dick. Uh, so, but like, Robert, having the, or Robert having Ninja Turtles, Fantastic Four, and George Springer with the four seasons, that's pretty solid. Like, I think the four See, horsemen. The I don't think there's a, as four many people for the apocalypse is going to hurt you. Four fans out there as me and Robert. But I'd take that over the four horsemen of the apocalypse. No, the four horsemen is strong. You're Realistically, just stupid like, Mount Rushmore is strong. Four. Anchorman, Channel 4 News Team is strong. Ghostbusters, super strong. And then Brett Favre is my last pick. Hello. Yeah, I'm just, Hello. Like, I thought when I said I got I, your guy. I thought when I said I wasn't going to pick him, it was understood that you weren't allowed to. You're just a dick. You know, that, like, uh, nobody mentioned Dak Prescott as an honorable mention. Yeah, because then you would be guaranteed to lose. Yeah, that's true. All right. So, let's move on to Not Cool, where we just kind of tell you guys – what's happened and it doesn't have to be like a big deal it doesn't have to be like it can be a big deal it can just be like you stubbed your toe hey that's not cool man just something that makes you say that's not cool sometime in the week all right and i actually have uh one that was like that led to us starting this podcast so here we go not cool man dude that's not cool not cool not cool dude that's not cool not cool man dude that's not cool not cool not cool dude that's not cool not cool all right um i will lead us off since i got two uh, my first one is the one that like I was I started this podcast a little heated. I don't know if you guys can tell a little heated because then we got into the awareness talk and I feel like I was I was actually like Robert got me out of my slump because Robert educated me on C section awareness month and now I know why we should be aware of C sections. You went from angry to enlightened, right? And so like thank you Robert for getting me out of that slump. It's but, screw you Robert. His angry energy was hilarious to me and I felt like he was going to carry well. But last week. We uh, we talked about mood rings. They somehow came up, and I was like, "Why don't I order us some mood rings?" I did. I ordered us mood rings, and then I got three. I got three mood rings in the mail. I opened them. Em and I were like looking at it, laughing about, "Ha ha ha!" It's reading. Like, look, I'm happy now. Now I'm I'm fearful. Now I'm anxious. Like you know, like we were, we were doing that on Sunday, and then I set them in this in their studio, and I can't find them. I don't yeah. know where they went. I think. Best guess is that I must have thought I took them out of the packaging and then threw the package away, and I threw them away with that, but I only have one. I was fucking losing my shit that I could not find the energy. I was tearing the studio apart. It was hilarious. I was like, it was on this fucking table. I got over here, and I cracked open a beer, and I'm drinking it, and Alex is looking around, and he's getting progressively madder and madder, and then I had to go to the bathroom. So while I'm in the bathroom, all I hear is, what the fuck? Shit. It's pretty and good. Outside, pretty good impression. The, yeah, like I'm just sitting there, like I'm sitting on the toilet, just kind of like shaking with laughter, which actually helped streamline the process. That's what <laughs> I was doing it for. <laughs> but it just sounded like Alex was trashing his entire fucking place. Yeah, yeah, I did. I bet I did. <laughs> oh, and it made me so happy to see you so angry. That's that's really what the best part. Yeah, was. and uh, I couldn't find him. Couldn't find him. So yep. there are two. There are two mood rings just floating around somewhere. They may be in the trash, but I ordered two more. So <laughs> mood rings, I promise you guys, will we're going to make an appearance with those. Those will be back next week. We're going to just see, you know, how moody we are the whole podcast. So just, yeah. you know, let's see if they work. Let's see if we all have the same mood. Or maybe it'll, will it be like periods? Will we sync them? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how that works. We don't know. We're doing an experiment. Look, I don't know how periods work. I'm not a wizard. I think this is going to work. I've already well, said this. Me and you are the experiment group, and Robert's good. The he's the control group. I don't feel like his mood is. Well, ever didn't he? Change. He put on mine, the one that we had out. He put it on when he came over, and it went right to like normal. Yep. And you were like, "That's the most. That's the most fucking Bobby jokes yeah. mood ring ever." Was no, like, no, yeah, you're see, just normal. The, and there was just, like, it you're not did mad. start to get slightly cloudy green a little bit in there. Is that calm? Which is, no, which is anxious because this was right when you were starting to yell about not being able to find the other ones that and tear shit apart. Jesus so, like, you were Christ. just scaring Bobby. 
Uh, well, hey, so, I'm sorry so, I scared so you, So we Bobby. can say he was calm because he always is, but slightly anxious. So I feel like these are 100% scientifically accurate. So ordering shit for the podcast and then losing it and or throwing it away. That's my first not cool of the week. And then my second, this is my big not cool. So I was flying to Maryland over the weekend. I said that to you guys in my uh, my way you've been. And I was sitting next to a, like, we, it was on Southwest. So, you know, like, my brother and I we were kind of sitting next, we sat next to each other. And there was a, I was about to say, if you found those rings, you son yeah. of a bitch. But they, he I did not. I saw a plastic bag he in the not. room behind something that's not where they were, though. But, uh, so I was, um, I was, I was on the plane and we, like, this lady came and, like, my brother and I were in the aisle in the middle seat. And, uh, cause, you know, like, we were trying to watch shit, like, the same shit together. Yeah. And, uh, I was like, okay, oh, yeah, you can come sit with us. And she was cool and she was polite and as sweet as you could be. And then the plane, the plane ride starts. We get up in the air and she takes her shoes off. And I was kind of like, all right, like, not great. And that's not like my big things are like, you know, don't recline your fucking seat. Quit. Don't, yeah. don't kick the seat in front of you, you know? And then, you know, don't be as loud. Don't be loud as shit. Don't be over chatty. And like socks and shoes seem like they should be on at all times. Oh, a hundred percent. And especially socks. Like if you're wearing socks and shoes, yeah, they stay so she, on together. So they're, had, they're a pair. She had some shoes, like some like tall shoes on. So like kind of like girlish, like they weren't quite heels, but they were tall. Dre- girls dress shoes. her comfortable for the fucking plane. Right. People. So she took the shoes off and I was like, all right. And then I see her start peeling those socks off. And I was just nope. like, oh, oh no. That's oh, a big old bag. Oh no. Of oh no. And then not only does she take the socks, she takes the socks off. So she's just in bare feet. On an airplane, which, like, everybody else's gross fucking shoes are all over that. Like, where you're putting your feet. Like, you're just... It's gross. It's gross. I'm not, like... I don't get disgusted by feet, but it's gross in, like, a public space. Like, I wouldn't go on, like, a yeah. like a, a public transportation barefoot. You're on public yeah, transportation. Yeah, you're not going on a bus. It's the same thing. Yeah. It's, it's an, an air, air bus. bus. That's exactly what it is. That was beautiful. <laughs> you owe me a soda. That was beautiful. But just, like, it... It was weird. So, like, I started doing, like, the whole, like, I'm taking a picture, but I'm also, like, maybe I'm editing, I'm changing my music. Who knows? And my, my brother, I just feel him, like, laughing next to me. I could, I could feel him laughing. And like, I, 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 take it, I take it you were in middle seat? Yeah. yeah. Well, he's got, he's bigger than yeah, me. Yeah, he's a so bigger guy. That's, I, that's I, why I I'm a, I'm a, I'm a good older brother. I give like, my, what, 6'2", six 6'3"? Six he's about 6 feet, yeah. So, I give, I give my, uh, my older, bro- or my, my, my bigger, younger brother. Yeah. Who yep, everybody assumes me, is my older me brother. And my brother have to say that, ex- that right. exact term all the and time. And I, I give him like the 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 more roomier areas. Like I don't, you know what? I don't care. I can fucking sit in the middle seat. I'm I'm cool with this. Like yeah. he he had the drink tickets too, so we were good. Like I was like, you get the drink tickets. You can have the middle, or you can, I'll take the middle. Whatever, we're yeah. good. And uh, like it's weird if you have like somebody sitting in between you and somebody else that you're talking to, because you're talking over them the whole time, and you either have to involve them in your conversation. Or just like be weird about like, hey, I'm talking to you and I don't care about this person in the middle of them. But so she she kind of chimed in a couple of conversations we were having. She was super sweet. Then she was just kind of, you know, asking about like what we were going up to Maryland for, what we were doing in Baltimore and all this. And we were just we were being polite. But like the whole time she has her fucking feet off, her, her like bare feet out. And then like like right after like we take off, she puts her foot up on the like armrest, like behind the armrest of the person in front of her. And that person, like, eventually had, like, moved their elbow back and, like, kind of, like, bumped into her foot. And then she, like, looked at me like, can you believe this, bitch? Like, she didn't say anything. And I just kind of, like, gave her, like, the, <laughs> and, like, shook my head. I like, looked at her, like, oh, you SMH, know wrong, you know? Right? Oh, but, like, in my head, I'm like, oh, fuck yeah, dude. I would have elbowed the fuck out of your foot if I saw a bare foot. And then I would have I tur- I turned around and be like, oh, are you fucking kidding me? Like, it was nasty. Did you just turn Canadian there are, for a second? Or are, are you fucking kidding me? Hey, bud, are you hey, fucking bud? kidding me? Hey, bub. You kidding me? Who are you kidding me? Why don't you take your fucking skeet off the seat there, man? But like, look at that. Like, not okay. No, not Not okay okay. at all. And I saw you had posted a picture. Yeah, did that the whole flight, and it was just like she was as sweet as could be. How how are you that socially unaware? Like, I understand when I fly. But for somebody that's as cool as she seemed like she was, it's like you gotta know, dude. I fly for comfort. I fly. I like I, socks and shoes, obviously, because I'm not a fucking animal. I, very comfortable shoes. I fly in pajama pants. That's fine. Like, yeah, for ultimate comfort. And I understand there's probably people that look at me like, dude, you're in fucking public. Put on real fucking pants. But like, if it's an early morning flight, I'm flying. I in put on shoes. Pants. Actually, a lot of the time, because when I do fly, I'm flying up north, and it's usually cold. So like, I have pajama pants under my fucking jeans because uh-huh. that's just super comfortable. But like, I will never be the person that puts a barefoot on a fucking seat. Like, what is wrong with you, you animal? People look at me and judge me for the way I'm dressed. That's cool. 
that that's I'm not breaking any social fucking rules right, right. by dressing like a fucking bum. That's just who I am. Putting your bare feet on other people's shit. It's like, just, it's just not cool, dude. No, it's you, not cool. You don't know if the flight in front of you, that person had athletes foot into the same fucking thing. Yeah, and then everybody's going to get athletes, but no. not cool. But yeah, super not cool. Also, what is cool is, or not, I don't know if it's cool, it's probably not cool from the airlines to us, but I just was carrying a bunch of PTG stickers, and on every flight, I put the PTG sticker on the tray Fuck table yeah. when they're like, oh, make sure your tray tables are up and stowed in the upright position. I'm like, <laughs> they, they pro- <laughs> sticker up. They probably peel them. I mean, they probably do, flight. but like also, I like to think Did of it as like- you stick them around the airport? Not around the airport, just Dude, in the... that's where you put them. That's where nobody's getting... Like, as you walk by a pillar, just slap should, one on. I should have done that. That's where you do... But you also... By all the outlets. Put them by all the outlets. Right? I couldn't do that. But my thinking is, like, maybe you get on an airplane, and you're like, fuck, I don't have anything to do this whole flight. And you open your trade table, and you're like, what's past the great podcast? Maybe I'll listen. So what we need to do is just make business cards that are, like, looking for something to listen to on the flight... Past the Gray Podcast. And like once a month, we'll just go down fuck? to the airport and just give it to somebody. Like, just throw these. Just throw <laughs> Go to a Congress and just throw these and walk away. And okay. I actually, I think we sh- what we should do is make stickers that look like outlets, place them in the airport. No, no, no. That's a dick move. We're not going to be those people. We're not going to be those people. On top of that. No, nope, but more wait. Traffic. But then we tell them like the closest way to another outlet, which will just be that way. You know, just it's realized. just an arrow because that's a very vague do, do direction. They, do the stickers say PTG podcast? Pass your podcast, and it's got our. It's exactly what this okay. Flag I was gonna say like, has no, with like our website. None and of them just say PTG podcast, though, right? They say pass the gravy podcast. Okay, because there is a. If you type in PTG podcast, it brings you to another podcast. Well, obviously they they suck. To they don't steal e- ours. They don't even have a fucking picture. They, yeah. Well, I wouldn't listen to them. Yeah. I'll tell you that they much. They suck. We should we should start like a fight with unless them. it's the one next to them that is the same exact name but it's in fucking Russian. <laughs> if you want to listen to a communist podcast, yeah, we aren't it. communist here, so don't nope. listen to them. Nope. Don't listen to them. Didn't y'all just steal mock draft or Russia? I said don't listen to them. Yeah. All right? Notice how none of us chose communism. Yeah, none of, nobody picked that, Which, uh, or uh, any of the communists. I was about today. Except I, was like, I picked the communists, I guess, communist. sort of. But like, Putin's not he's a, communist. a former communist. Yeah. Former communist, and I specifically picked just shirtless him riding a horse. Yeah, yeah, which is a power move. Robert, what's your not cool? Uh, I'm a little communist. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's pretty not fucking cool, man. Hey, we're an anti-communist podcast, dude. Come on. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Stay uh, with the brand. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this week I actually don't have one. You don't have a not cool. I don't cool have week. one this week. You have to have. You a know what's cool. funny? Twelve hours ago, I didn't have one either. Just do what I did a couple weeks ago, like where it was forest fires, and you were like, "I thought you had a story." I was like, "No, I don't. It's just forest no." Fires. I, dude, I'm with you. This morning, I Plant woke fires. up. Plant fires. I woke up this morning. <laughs> okay. And I, uh, I didn't have one this morning. Then I got to work. Oh boy! No. It's always when you're like, "I don't have a not cool man." This will be an interesting way to find. And then you, like, every time like, you think that though, you immediately that day you're gonna find a not cool. It wasn't even that bad. It just the. Uh, you know all the all the we have an app that we take all of our orders through for the for the school lunches. For and those shit. of you that aren't familiar, app is short for app again. <laughs> the 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 app again broke. Abigail. <laughs> the app again broke, and so for about forty five minutes, when we get most of our fucking orders, the app went down. So uh, yeah, pro- uh, probably cost us you know millions of dollars <laughs> somewhere depending on how busy it was going to be somewhere between like 150 and maybe 300 dollars today yikes yeah not great it went down my day was super fucking easy because of it so it kind of so was it not cool it sort of turned into cool like no not for the company no but it was one of those things where like company I, got- I, I had everything prepped up yesterday so like mm. when i got to work today i was literally just fucking sitting there yeah for like 90 percent of my day like give me fucking something to do like i don't want to do a lot but I don't want to sit there doing nothing. Right. But give me fucking something to do. So, like, yeah, that was not cool. That is not cool. Yeah. It's a good not cool. Good not cools all around. Even Except if Robert was Robert. just, like, plant fires. But that's a, that, that is a good not cool, though. Like, nobody likes plant fires. It's true. Unless you hate the environment. Actually, no, that's not true. Some people like plant fires. The people who are burning down plants do, like, a burn... Uh, uh, like targeted burn, uh, so that then yeah. you can return the soil. And well, use like it. Yeah. chemical plant fires. There you go. Not cool. You got to be specific. All right, our next segment is the answers segment. That's my favorite part of the week, guys. That's a lot of fun. And uh, basically, the way this started was back when I was in third grade, 
in Atlanta, Georgia at Far Elementary in Miss Winter's class. I remember her saying to the class, I don't remember exactly what my question was, but I remember her saying, hey, class, stupid. remember there's no such thing as a stupid question. Just and stupid I was people. like, well, I've got a question. I was a little nervous about asking it, so I was like, I'll just raise my hand. She, stood the, she said there's no such thing as a stupid question. She reassured my like nervousness, and so I think I'll be okay. I don't remember exactly what the question was. don't remember what I asked, but when I asked it, I just remember being laughed at, and I was so like, oh, What? I was just told that like there's no such thing, and then everybody's making it seem like what happened. I just remember vowing to myself then. I was like, you know what, buddy? One day when you're in charge, there won't be such thing as a stupid question. I guarantee that. And I n- actually never got put in charge of anything, so I started my own podcast. Yeah. And I guess like if so fact out, I charge. am in charge of something that I started, That's sort true. of as for right now at least. Like I mean, I mean, we're all kind of in on this together, but like we're part in charge. But you have final. Cut. I'm partial charge. <laughs> Of this, so uh, I was like, "Yeah, hey, hey, you know what? We need to fill some time. Send us your questions. And send us like any dumb question you think of. You know, like there are no dumb questions. It doesn't though. matter. But like originally, like they were basically like high thoughts. Like if you have a high thought, like send it over our way. We'll get to the bottom of it. I don't care how stupid it is. You know, is anything you put a handle on a ladle? We're gonna talk about it. Yeah, it is done. Is that if you throw, you can throw anything. Anything in the world's a boomerang. Whether or not it comes back to you just proves whether or not it's a good boomerang or not. Most things are bad boomerangs, but still, everything is a boomerang. Nope, nope, don't don't true. argue with me on not that. True. Don't I will argue, argue with, with you that. all day. You tweezers start this again? Or wait, was it tweezers and tongs are basically the exact same thing? Yep. We had that. Like all of these debates are things that come from the answers segment, and you guys asking the question. Even though I think the tweezers tong thing was just a Robert a Robert pondering, or was that something I brought up? I don't know. Either way, that was you, Robert, right? Tongs? Yeah, that was just your ponderings. Yeah, that was. Okay, mine. so they weren't all from the answer segment, but yeah, some I of them were. Take credit, some of them were, on. and uh, if you, we encourage you to send us your answers questions, hashtag PTG Answers at Pastigary Pod on Twitter. I am at Alex J Middleton. Pat's at not Pat Dion, and What's Robert up? is at Robert Barbosa zero three at. Pass the pot at Alex J. Middleton, at not Pat Dion, and at Robert Barbosa03. And use the hashtag PTG Answers with your questions so we can sort through it. And also, like, I'm just saying, like, we may or may not have some guests coming up soon. So, you know, if you want to flood our inbox with a bunch of questions, we only, like, we will only use usually, like, one of yours a week, but, like, we can use yours for consecutive weeks. And believe me, we're going to get through every single one that is sent in, unless it's, like, a super crazy, like, offensive one, but we don't really ever have those. Like, if you ask us, like, a racist question, we won't answer. Yeah, and Alex doesn't give me uh, access to the questions. So. I mean, you could hashtag PTG answers. You could find them. It's pretty certain. Like, no, we just no, literally I, told I you actually, where to search I it. actively try not to. Okay, well, no, I appreciate that because pat likes to look at him fresh i pick him out and then pat yeah. just answers no fresh. i do usually still see two or three of these so uh without further ado you can also answer us or ask us your answers questions at or pat answers at passagreypod.com is where you send those if you want to email them to us but we prefer twitter answers at passagreypod.com if you want to just email them and you don't have a twitter or whatever but you can also send them to us on facebook too we got yeah. pass great podcast on facebook and I think coming soon you'll be able to mail them into us mail them to us mm-hmm. you could mail them to us Snail or also mail. if you want to send like a plane with writing on the back of that we will be answering those type questions as well or just the best way is probably just show up where alex is in public and yell them in his face he hashtag pg answers and then i'll be like okay i got it just if you see any of us in public, just yell that out to us. So here we go. Without further ado, it is the answers segment. Later, let's. Well, if you just answer the question. Why don't you just answer the question? Be honest. No big deal. Yeah, answer. Answer the question. Don't change the subject. Just answer the fucking question. Yep, yep, right. Why, 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 any questions? There we go. There we go. All right, here we go. Let's wrap up the podcast, guys. Our podcast son, Skylar oh. Lester. Oh my god, it's Skylar! At OMG at Skylar on Twitter says, <laughs> "How do you determine which armrest is yours in a movie theater?" And I think it doesn't just go to movie theater. I think this is a universal question, like in a not a movie theater, a plane, anywhere where is a shared armrest. How do you determine which armrest is yours? Well, now the movie theaters that I go to are all... Basically, most movie theaters these days are the big seats. Uh-huh. So you have two. Like, it's not one that you have to choose from. But if you do have to choose. Now, on a plane, it's always inside person gets the next one. So if you're on the right side of the plane, inside person gets the left. You get the left. Next person gets the left. You get one. You don't get two. In a public place, you get one. 
Now, this but, is not a perfect theory, but I feel, and no one observes this yeah. at all. And I know I'm in the minority on this. You get one. But I think, realistically, the shared armrest, you should get half of the armrest. I understand that most people aren't going to go with that. that doesn't work, though, for a lot of people. Because a lot of people have, like, big arms and shit. And if you try and put, like, a half, that doesn't work. Or, or like, a lot of time when you're sitting there, bam, your elbow is what's resting on there. Your elbow points over half of what it is. So here's what I'm going to say because most of the population is right-handed. You get the right one. I was going to say that too. Yeah. I mean, I agree with you on that Except, one. Like, I the, think the in a perfect place... world, everybody should be able to split it, but I understand how you – most people yeah. can't. Most people can't, and yeah. I get that. And uh, Except for a plane when obviously sometimes there is no right. But middle seat, middle seat gets uh, gets more of the yes. RS, I think, Mid- middle because middle seat got get... fucked in the seating. Yeah. You don't have if you're, you don't if, have a window if, and you don't if, have if the, you're the aisle. You better not even. You, you get your one. Your 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 inside arm better be in your fucking lap the whole time. You better have no part of that goddamn armrest. Yeah. You get aisle. You get to stretch that leg out when the car's not coming you. by. Yeah, right. You're good. But okay. In most places, if there's not enough room to share, you get the right one. Party on from there. We'll settle with that. That's fair. That's yeah. a fair answer. All right. Good question, Skyler. Our next one comes from Brandon Whitehead at. Brando Whitehead on the Twitter. He says, if oil is made from dinosaurs and plastic is made from oil, are plastic dinosaurs made from dinosaurs? Whoa. 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 Um, yeah. I mean, they have to be. No, dinosaurs are a falsehood put there by Satan. Whoa. So Whoa. They're made by Satan. I don't know about that. We no. have bones. We have bones of them. Yeah, put there by Satan. They had their own park. Satan too. pushed them up into the ground from hell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck yeah, they're made. They're just obviously dinosaurs. they're dino. It's a dinosaur it made is. from a real dinosaur. So if so, or, fact or that your plastic dinosaurs animal. are real dinosaurs, maybe it's a woolly mammoth, which was a dinosaur. No, it wasn't. It sort was of a. Blue, a dino- no, it, was it was kind of a dinosaur. No, it was a, a dinosaur time. No, no, it was not. It was a very it evolved from a dinosaur. It was a nope part dinosaur. <laughs> nope, it is part dinosaur. No, everybody knows that. You're wrong on literally no, every statement you're everybody making right now. Everybody knows that it's a tales all the time. Literally everything you're saying has been wrong. You just made nine incorrect statements. Nope, all of them are factual. Six second fucking. Statement. All of them are factual. Everybody knows that only um, I speak the I speak the truth all the time. Nope. Uh, yes, plastic dinosaurs are made from dinosaurs. I agree. I agree with you on that one. All right, Josh Cottle. Josh Cod- Cottle. Excuse me. I'm, I've pronounced your name a million times. Josh Cottle at Joshua Tree seven one three on Twitter says, "Are June bugs the dumbest, most pointless bugs of all time? They don't even know <laughs> what month it is." <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and they're just flying like like what do you and just die? They just die. At least love, at least love bugs are fucking. Yeah, like love bugs are obnoxious as shit, but they're fucking. And you're like, hey, you know, get you, get you some. But June bugs constantly, they don't know what they're doing. You just standing there upside down, just like buzzing. Then they just hit you in the face. And then you step on them, and you get get crunchy all in your shoe. It's gross. You're like, dude, I've been standing still for twenty minutes. How did you just? What are you doing? What do you? Yeah, what do you? What do? I'm not a light. Do I look like a light? What are you doing? Yeah, June June bugs are dumb. Yeah. Hey, man, June's not even close right now. Like, you're months away, man. Fuck off. June bugs are dumb. I like that. That's a good yeah. idea. June they bugs are, are the, they really are the fucking dumb. One. Pointless as shit, too. Are like, the, why are they June bugs? They're, why? They're the dodo bird of why don't bugs. We have, why don't we have March bugs? <laughs> we have ants marching, so those are March bugs. There you go. Done. Ant Nailed awareness it. month. There you go. Yeah, right. that's, a th- that's a thing. We're starting that now. Ant farm. P H A R, but it's like Ant Pharmaceuticals, and it's like, yeah. And they just, oh, dude, this Ant is, Pharmacies. This is we, we just that's have, what it is. They, an ant pharmacy they just is an have Ant Pharmacy. Carry pills where they need to go. I like that. We'll start that. That'll be like you know Amazon had the drones. Yep. We've got ant farms. Yep. Because we, ants can carry we, a bunch of their own weight. We can be ant men. Yeah. Done. Nailed it. All right. <laughs> June bugs definitely the dumbest, most pointless bugs. Um, Ashley, I did not get a last name with Ashley, but at Effin Smashes on Twitter, which is one of the best Twitter handles. Ashley Effin Smashes, there. man. She's been crushing it replying to the tweets too. Uh, apparently, so, uh, she's been getting crushed too. E F F I N Smashes. Give her a follow because she is fun to follow on the Twitter, and uh, she also interacts with all of our posts, so I like that too. Yeah. Uh, but Ashley asks us rubbing alcohol. Two intoxicated people having sex? <laughs> yeah, you could say yeah. that. You could definitely say that. 
Because I was trying to think of anything else. Yeah, could, like, yeah I'm, rubbing I'm, alcohol is the perfect, like, it's ru- just, you know, getting a little rubbing alcohol. Maybe, maybe, like, maybe just giving a hand job to a drunk person. That could be another possibility. Yeah. But. I feel like you'd be rubbing the bottle then, though. Ooh. Rubbing alcohol, I feel like, is like two drunk people fucking. Yeah. I get that. That's perfect. So there we go. Ashley, yeah. cut and dry. Right to the point. I like it. Oh. At F and Smashes. Mm-hmm. Follow her on the Twitter. Uh, and I guess we just, we've burned through these. I feel bad that we've just gone through these so fast. But our boy Danny Gray from Weekly D Podcast, also a purchaser and uh, sponsorer of Little M Air Fresheners, who uh, who supports the brand. He was uh, he posted uh, some, uh, some pics of him with his Little M Air Fresheners. But he asks us, do you ever wonder how rulers can be different lengths and sizes, but they measure... Or, okay, I'm going to repeat that. Danny Gray says, Do you ever wonder how rulers can be different lengths and sizes, but they all measure 12 inches? It's, so an, like, it's an optical illusion. So you it's have, like, is. a super big ruler. But, like, but yeah, they all have, like, the same measurements. No, what, what, what he's talking about, I think, is, you know, there's there's a basic plastic rumor. Mm-hmm. That, uh, rumor, which rumor. is, like, a made-up story. Beer. Uh, <laughs> that By the way, knows Southern Star, if you wanted to sponsor us, Shh, we are a hell of a podcast. Yeah, I'm, I'm running through your variety pack hell, right now. And I'm we love it. Southern Star beer. But everyone knows that uh, the basic plastic rumor that you get. Now, sometimes you'd also get that wooden ruler. It's a little thicker. A had a little, had a little metal thing at the end that you can kind of yeah. cut stuff with. Yeah. I like that. I like and, that and, a lot. And then there's a lot of variations off of that. It's an optical illusion. When you get the metal they're thing, you hit your friends with it. Roughly the same size, even if they're a little bit longer, they still have that 12 inch cut. But it's when they make them thicker or a little bit taller, they seem like they're different sizes. But it's all the same thing. That's what it is. Now, also, what you're thinking of it's that metal part? It's not the part, size. It's, it's not, how you use it. It's not to cut. That it's metal. for drawing an edge that yeah. stays straight. I get it. But, but like, but like when you get it in school, you would definitely hit your friends with it. Oh, and 100%. Ah, fuck my wrist. Yeah. Oh, you gotta fucking beat the shit out of your. Like friends you'd with cut them. <laughs> fuck yeah. If you never cut your friend with a ruler, you ain't living. They're not your friends. You ain't living. Yeah. But that's what it is. It's all a lot of people are reassessing illusion. themselves right now. Like, did that's I ever was. get cut with a ruler? Yeah, I did. I did. But it was it was the it was like the brown the wooden ruler, but it had the like gold little like metal thing on it. Yeah, everybody had that. Well, not in gold. It was just it was like metal, it was silver. I saw. I mine were like mostly like bronze, goldish. Ooh, we went to the little same little school. Gold. Went to the same school. We all had the same one. Well, we went to the same high school. I don't know how many rulers I was using in high school. All I'm talking of them. about elementary school. All of them. Jeez, dude, were, were you in the dumb classes? You didn't wear helmets to your classes. <laughs> Bro, how was big, that not everybody? Bro, how big was your bus? <laughs> Wait, they didn't shorten the buses for you two. Wait, I thought they were just cutting cost. Did your teachers that's call? A, that's what they told me. Did your teachers call you buddy a lot? <laughs> <laughs> they call me their best buddy. I had teachers. I remember talking to teachers in the hallway that I never had that were coaches that would walk up to me uh, in the hallway and talk shit to me. Like just like. About to you, about you? To me, about me. Like Coach Dirks. You piece of shit. Coach Dirks walked up to me and like one day, I hadn't talked to this guy in like three years. I'm a junior. <laughs> he just walks up and was like, hey, Dion, I heard you suck at baseball. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck did that go Why from? are you so mean? Dirks was the man though. No, and then it became a thing. Like we'd randomly see each other in the hall and me and Dirks would just talk shit to each other. Even though we would never interact in any other place. We just both knew who each other was. That's cool though. Dirks was the man though. R.I.P. Good man. He's dead? Yeah, a couple years ago. Heart attack. R.I.P. in peace. Yeah. Damn. Fucking one of the best track coaches in the history of Texas. Uh, well, just in the history of Texas. Yeah. Dude was badass. That R. sucks. Dirks. But yeah, that's that's one of the main things I remember about interactions with teachers in high school. It was this guy just one day randomly decided, I'm going to start talking shit to this 16-year-old. Hey, yeah, you know, teach him a lesson. <laughs> teach him a lesson. That's what you got to do we had at a, a young age. Good man. Though. At a young Good age. Man. But, yeah, uh, I think that it, like, it is optical illusions with those rulers. They're, they're all different lengths, but they really just measure, you know, a foot. Yeah. That's how they do it. And I, and I prefer to just use my foot to measure a foot. That's how I do it. Okay. I don't think that's going to work. No, it's accurate. What size shoe do you wear? Uh, size 10. That's nah, not a foot. That's accurate. I mean, it is a foot. Round up. <laughs> hey, you know what? You're an American, so I'm you're an American always citizen, right. American citizen, so there we go. That's how it works. We thank you guys so much for listening. Please share us with some friends. And uh, until next week, you know, don't forget to head on down to that old town road and uh, pass the gravy. Bitches! I'm going to take my horse down to old town road.